on this week? He's going fishing and BBS, right? <laughs> All right, summer is a really, really fun time, and I'm so excited for you guys to do this this week. We're going to jump right in. We're going to talk about love, okay? Can you guys raise your hand if you can tell me somebody you love? <laughs> mom and dad, of course. Your mom and dad, too. Me. Jesus, grandma and grandpa, yeah, and maybe like a teacher at school, too. Last one. God. God, yeah. We love all those people, right? And when you love somebody, you want to please them, right? You want to obey them. You want to listen to them. You want to make them really happy, right? Because... I always think the story, if you ever go into a classroom, those kids love their teacher, and if they're making an art project, the kids go, look at mine, look, look, do you see mine, do you like mine? Because they want you to love it, they love you, they want you to see it and to appreciate it, right? And when you uh, obey your parents and you want to make them happy, what could you do for your parents to make them happy? Yeah, you can make friends. Oh, clean. Colin says he's going to clean later. Um, and he cook for them or just surprise them, right? And somebody else, somebody said this, somebody else that we love is God, right? We love God. And we need to obey God, right? We want to make him happy. We want to praise him, study the word, read the Bible, sing some songs, go to BBS, right? God says, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. Huh. That's easier said than done, right? Because, hello, real life, right? Sometimes, raise your hand if life gets a little messy. Does life get a little messy? Yeah, it does get a little, it gets hard. Have you ever had hard times in life? Yeah, these ones are like, uh-huh. And sometimes we don't want to be nice to our siblings. Sometimes that co-work at work is just driving me crazy. But you know what? We're human. And sometimes it's really hard. Well, you know what? There's good news. Do you want to know? There's good news. Jesus says, you don't have to earn my love. I'm going to say that again. You don't have to earn my love wants to be with you, right? That sounds so easy. It's too easy, right? It's crazy. Do you want to school and, and, and do you just get an A plus right away? No. What? You don't? You don't just go to school and get an A plus? How about, how about your parents, they go to work, don't they just push a button and all of it's done? No. Right? But guess what? With God, that's what it is. He says, you don't earn my love. Let me be with you. He also says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Does anybody know what that means? Do not let your hearts be troubled. What about do not be afraid? Do you know what that means? Maybe you're scared. Yeah, but here's the thing. He says, don't let your hearts be troubled. He said, he doesn't say, oh, you're not going to have any troubles. No, nope. he says, don't let your heart be troubled. And he also says, do not be afraid. He doesn't say, oh, you're never going to be afraid. Does he say that? No, he says, don't let yourselves be afraid, right? All right. Last thing here, Jesus wants us to trust him, to seek him, right? And to love him, and he's going to give us his peace. And when Jesus says he's going to give us peace, it's his full presence. And if any of you have ever felt God's full presence, what a blessing. He is here right now, and he's surrounding us. Amen? Amen. All right. <laughs>